Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little eye tutorial and review, little mini review on the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Um, this isn't a new product, but it has been re-released. Um, it came out a little while ago and everyone went crazy over it, but it was a limited edition and not very many people could get their hands on it, but I got my hands on it the second time around and oh, this has been sticking out the entire time. I'm pretty sure that this is now a permanent item. If not, I'm sorry, I'm not positive, but pretty sure. They came out with a whole collection of the Sweet Peach items. So they have the eyeshadow palette, they have a blush, a like blush contour and highlight palette. And then I think they came out with some lip glosses as well. There might be some more things that they came out with, but not positive. But I'm just gonna be doing a little mini review on this and a tutorial and yeah let's just jump into the tutorial and then I will do the review afterwards I think all right so I already have my eye primed and set and I'm just gonna get into it so I'm gonna start out with my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush and I'm gonna take the shade down here called Peaches and Cream. Doesn't really have much color to it, but I am going to be putting this in my crease kind of as a transition shade. You can tell it doesn't really do much, but it'll help everything blend, so that's why I did it. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M513 brush and I'm gonna take the shade Puree right here. And I'm just going to blend this into my crease as well and sort of into the inner and outer corners of my eyelid. So I'm gonna take the shade Summer Yum right here on my M514 brush and pretty much just go over that puree shade that we just put down. And now I'm going to take this brush that came in the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, it's a double-ended brush, and I'm gonna take the flat side, and I'm going to pick up the shade Luscious right here, and I'm just going to pack this all over the lid. And I'm gonna kind of shape out that crease with this too. Seriously, the most beautiful shade ever. And then I'm gonna take my M506 brush from Morphe. It's just a really small, fluffy brush. This will help get in the inner corner and everything. I'm gonna go back in with Summer Yum, just retouch the inner and outer corners and just blend this back into the crease and make it a little bit darker. Okay, now I'm just gonna take, where did it go? It's a little teeny flat brush like this. And I'm gonna pick up the shade Peaches and, no, the shade Nectar, this one right here. And I'm just going to pack this on top of that luscious shade, just right in the center of the lid, just to make it pop a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna blend everything out again with that puree shade. Just make sure there's no harsh lines and that it's a nice gradient from the crease up to the brow bone. Just like that. And then 
Um, I'm also going to be taking that nectar shade and using that as my brow bone and inner corner highlight. So I'm going to do that real quick. It's funny because the shade doesn't look as pigmented or bright in the palette. But once you actually put it on, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's like one of those shades that you look at it and you're like, oh, it doesn't really look like anything special. But then you actually put it on and you love it. And then just gonna blend that together. And then on my lower lash line, not my lower lash line, on my waterline, I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. And this is in the shade Get Paid. It's like a, like a coppery kind of color. And like I said, I'm just gonna be lining my waterline with this. I just feel like it ties the whole peach theme together. And then for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take Summer Yum, again, just on that M506 brush, and I'm just gonna blend this out on my lower lash line. And that's really it for the eyeshadow. It's super, super simple. So that's always a good thing. And then I'm gonna put some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm just gonna pop on these Ardell Demi Wispies, which if you've seen my other videos, you probably know I really like these lashes for like a more natural kind of look. But yeah, so I'm gonna put on my mascara and then pop on those lashes and then I'll be back. Got my lash on and that is it for the eyes. Super, super easy and simple, but it looks like you took forever. Now I'm just gonna do my lips. I figured I would show you at least that part because everyone loves lipstick and you know, you just gotta do it. I don't have a pencil sharpener. What kind of beauty guru doesn't have a pencil sharpener? Me. So I can't use the Candy K lip liner because it's too low, so I'm gonna use this lip liner, it is Milani in the shade Spice. I'm gonna use this to line my lips. And then I'm gonna take the Candy K lip stick and just go over top of that. So now that I've finished my whole makeup look and everything, I'm going to review the Sweet Peach palette a little bit. So um, first of all, love the packaging. It is so freaking cute. I like that it's like the tin thing and it's like a magnetic, kind of like the chocolate bar palettes. And it smells delicious. It smells like peaches. I love it. And if you didn't know, it actually tastes like peaches. Not very many people would be brave enough to taste it, but here's a little swatchy swatch. And I'm telling you, it tastes like peaches. I wouldn't recommend eating the whole palette, but just give it a little taste, you know? Why not? It's made with, I'm sure it's made with some kind of like peach extract or something like that. How else would it taste like peaches? But anyways, tastes like peaches, it smells like peaches. And then these are the colors. There's, you got your peachy shades, all of these ones. And then they also threw in some nice purples over here and like a greenish color here. And there's a blackish color. There's shimmers, metallic-y ones and matte shades and I just feel like this is such a great palette because everyone loves their neutral colors so you have all of that in here and it also throws in some like fun colors to play with too so you get kind of the best of both worlds which I love and it does come with a black. I don't think it's a matte black. Let me swatch it real quick. 
it's pretty much matte. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but I feel like when you actually put it on the eye, you won't really be able to tell. So of course, it's always nice having a black shade in any palette. And yeah, that shade's called Tempting. I'll do a few swatches for you guys. Um, some of the matte shades, I'll take the shade Summer Yum right here, which I do use on my eyes in the tutorial. So there's that one. They are extremely blendable. I was really happy about that. It blended perfectly fine for me, so that's always a plus. I'll do the shade Talk Derby to me. It's like a dark metallic or a dark shimmery purple. So it's kind of like a black shade with some purple glitters in there. I'm not too sure how often I'll be using that, but it's nice that it's in there just in case you like to play with more fun colors. And then here is my favorite color out of the whole palette. This is Luscious. And that is just a beautiful shade. And then I'll swatch Bless Her Heart, which is that greenish shade. not as pigmented as luscious but it's still really pretty it's like a it's like a goldish greeny color this one right here and I'll swatch one more let's see I'll swatch just peachy which is this pinkish one up here Ooh, ooh, I like, it's kind of like duochrome-ish. Depending on how the light hits it, it's either pink or like a goldish. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I didn't realize that that one was that cool. I did play with some of the ones over here, as obviously you'll see in the tutorial, but I honestly loved them all. Um, they're gorgeous and it smells good, it tastes good, it blends good. Um, the pigmentation is really nice, and I got to give it a thumbs up. So if you didn't get your hands on it the first time, you should probably go get your hands on it this time. I, Like I said, I'm not sure if it's limited edition or not. Um, I, I have this gut feeling that it's permanent. But if it's not, go get it now because it's beautiful. I don't think it's like completely necessary if you have a lot of other like neutral-ish palettes, but it smells like peaches. Gotta give it to them, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of my little mini tutorial. There's not much to say about it other than I really love it. Um, like I said, it's blendable, it smells good, it tastes good, and I like all the shades in the palette. So I think that's all I have to say. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review and tutorial of the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up for me and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you can see every time I post a new video. And also follow me on all my social media, which I always put down below in the description box. I have my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat. So you can follow me on all of those just to get more sneak peeks on my life, you know? Yeah, I get to know me a little bit better and think that's all I have to say other than I hope you guys have a really happy new year and make it the best one yet and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. No. no the, ow, 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 stop. Stop it. Not right now. What do you want? You need some love? No, you're gonna, you're gonna rip my jacket or my sweater. I'll play with you in a second, okay? Let me finish my video. Okay? Let me finish it real quick. No. Ah! See? This is what she does to me. She thinks she's innocent. She's really not. Now she used to have five. Now she can start barking. What's that? You hear stuff?
you leave. Oh my god, no bus. Stop! Get down! No! I know, I know you miss me. I know I've been filming and you feel neglected. Why do you have to leave me alone for a little bit? Okay? Mama has stuff to do. She has stuff to accomplish. Mm hmm? I know. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a little... Nova, get down! 